To get to our first location, we need a little lift. And then we'll need to walk. So enjoy the view. better place to start Click360 than here. Welcome to the Aletsch Glacier in the Swiss Alps. Now about a metre below this snow, there's some very important monitoring technology that we've got to dig up. And this is Claudia over here. She started digging. You have, have to give us a few minutes for my lips to thaw and also for us to get in. We're looking for evidence of things called ice quakes, tremors caused by the glacier as it sticks and then slips and bumps along the underlying rock. The theory is that if the glacier melts faster, the increased meltwater acts as a lubricant, which then causes the glacier to slip ever more quickly. Tell you what, Claudia, you didn't have to make me dig the whole hole, you know? <laughs> I'm joking. No. Okay, so, uh, this is the box, can we open it? Yeah, we can. <clears throat> no, no. I knew that. Right, so what is in here? In here, there is actually uh, this um, orange box where you have the seismometer inside, or the receiver of the seismometer. So, so this is taking measurements from a seismometer which is measuring vibrations from the glacier itself. Yes, and now you have the, actually the waveforms of the seismometers. Um, and that's what is recorded from below. And if we do this, Oh. Something happens. Something you probably can't see from there, but something happened on the screen. <laughs> that was a Claudia quake. <laughs> what causes the vibrations in the glacier? Um, the vibrations are normally caused just by the movement of the, of the glacier, because each glacier flows. And then the ice cracks when it flows. And then f it creates the crevasses, and when it cracks, it creates also the, the seismic signal. And how will, that, how will that help our greater knowledge of, of, of glaciers and, and these kind of conditions? Um, the goal at the end is just to, when we can um, understand how the glaciers flow, we can better predict what happens in future, especially when we have warmer climates, we have more meltwater especially. Cool. All yes. right. Carry on about your work. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, just to point out, Matterhorn over there, Jungfrau Joch over there, if you want to look around. The research is being conducted by ETH, the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology, and we'll return to ETH later in the programme. For now, as we leave the glacier, let's all sit back and enjoy the ride. <laughs> 